In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to share files between two iPads running interconnects. For more information on interconnects, visit the link below. This video assumes you've already downloaded and installed interconnects on the iPads you plan on sharing files between. It also assumes there is an iPad you're sharing files from and an iPad you're sharing files to. To begin, launch interconnects from the home screen of the iPad you intend on sharing files to. Tap the share space icon in the upper left. Interconnects ships with two pre-configured share spaces. The first is a My Files share space that is only accessible via your iPad. The second is a Public Files share space that is accessible via your iPad, but can also be accessed by other iPads running Interconnects if they create a remote share space connecting to it. The primary difference between these two share spaces is that the Public Files share space has the Accessible to Others option switched on. I'm going to set up this iPad to access files on a separate iPad by creating a remote share space here that connects to the separate iPad's public files share space. Tap the Add New Share Space button. Tap a remote share space and tap Next Step. Select the remote share space you wish to connect to. In this example, it's the public files share space on my separate iPad. If the share space you're connecting to requires login credentials for access, this is where you would enter them but the public files share space that comes pre-configured does not require such credentials, so we will not enter any. Pre-authorization allows interconnects to remember your username and password and use them to connect to the remote share space. Turning this off so interconnects prompts you for your username and password is the preferred setting when you're not the sole user of your iPad. Enable auto-connect to have interconnects automatically attempt to connect to the share space upon activation or launch of interconnects. If you're not the sole user of your iPad and are worried about security, again, you may want to leave this set to off. Give the share space a recognizable name for your iPad. Confirm your settings, then tap Save. When you view a remote share space, you are viewing the files live on the other device. If you wish to store them on your local iPad, you must copy or move them to a local share space. As you can see, after copying the items to my local share space, I can now access them directly from my iPad without having to access the remote share space. That wraps up how to share files between two iPads running interconnects. If you'd like to find out how to share files between your iPad running interconnects and your Mac running Chrono Agent, check out the following video.